Hello everybody, welcome to Bonsai Keto. If you're looking for a nice, simple, quick treat that you can take to a birthday party or if you just had a stressful week and you want to have something sweet, this is the perfect thing for you. It is a chocolate keto mug cake made in these beautiful ramekins and it is a tasty, beautiful treat. Stay tuned for how quick and simple it is. Have you had that craving for something sweet and you're doing keto and you don't want to go out of ketosis? I've got the fix for you. We are going to be making a chocolate keto mug cake. Super simple ingredients. You're going to need one large egg. You're going to need a fourth cup of almond flour, one heaping tablespoon of Swerve confectionery sugar, one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. You're going to preheat your oven at 350 degrees and you're going to cook for approximately 12 minutes. It's going to vary uh, based on your oven as far as the time goes and the temperature. And for those that even want a quicker treat, you can use your microwave. Cooking times will vary anywhere from a minute to a minute and a half and then you'll have your sweet treat. Our friends at Sweezy sent us these beautiful ramekins that we're going to be using today for our keto mug cake. These are 8 ounce and they do come in a 6 pack. They're very pretty and very durable. You can use them in the oven as well as in the microwave. Our friends at Sweezy did let us in on a secret. They're going to be giving away some free ramekins. If you want them before that, you can check out our link below at Amazon. Or we're also going to put the link in the description below for their giveaway. I've gone ahead and pre-measured everything out for you. We're going to need one large egg, a fourth of a cup of almond flour, a heaping tablespoon of Swerve confectioner sugar, one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa, And last is one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna go ahead and get this mixed up. It mixes up very well and it's gonna come into a thick chocolate before you put it into the ramekin. So we've got it mixed up and so it's gonna be a nice thick consistency. Don't worry, it tastes fantastic and it'll cook very well. The next step will be to butter the sides and the bottom of the ramekin or your mug if you choose to use that or use a non-stick spray. I'm going to get this in here. In the interest of time we already prepared two of the mixes and I did the third one here with you so you can see it's nice quick and simple. We're going to cook two in the oven and one in the microwave. You're going to preheat your oven at 350 degrees and you want to bake your keto chocolate cake for approximately 12 minutes. Times will vary based on your oven. For this one, we're going to put it in the microwave. Ours, we've experimented, takes one minute for this chocolate goodness to come out. Be right back. If you're having a really stressful week, a few of the things that we like to do is to add a little bit of Lily's dark chocolate. We break it up. Put a little bit up on the top so you can have some chunks of chocolate. And then a little bit of crushed walnuts. Alrighty, here comes the chocolate yumminess. Our timer just went off. Now it's time to get them out of the oven. Our sweet treats are done and ready. The back two we did in the oven. The first one we did in the microwave. So whatever your preference is, you can do it either way. You can see these are wonderful, simple, easy treats. Nice if you're going to have a gathering or you're going to go to a gathering and somebody's on keto and doesn't want all that sugar. This is a great, simple treat for them. 
and you can personalize it to what they might like on the top. On this one here, we have some Lily's dark chocolate and some walnuts. I use those when it's been a really stressful time. Uh, so there you go. I hope you enjoy.